My device out. All right, so I, I rarely pay any attention. I mean, I don't pay any attention to things that are written about me on the internet, uh, on social media. Um, people send us stuff all the time, but this one I think is worth addressing. And so I'm gonna do that. So this is a post from uh, ABT's curriculum. Uh, there, there, it's, it's on their page, right? Talking about some things. So I, I won't read the whole thing. You can probably find it, but let me just give you the first, the first uh, sentence that's relevant. So he says, some of my comments and theories that are valid. So they validate what I'm teaching, but they directly contradict the ABT national training curriculum and health guidelines for safe training. To which my response is, listen, uh, one, what I teach doesn't contradict any curriculum anywhere in the world because placement in this method is to be added to the curricula in the world. Right? That's where it will add tremendous value at all levels of the curriculum, right? It's to be added. It, it doesn't contradict anything at all. The better way to look at this is I've been working on different, solving different problems, right? So I've been working on the engineering, right? The biomechanical engineering and that kind of thing. That's how I look at it. And that is valuable knowledge to be added to curriculum, okay? That's how I see my relationship with the ballet world. So there isn't a contradiction there. Secondly, I'll say this, given the circumstances that we are all in, right, with COVID and the governance surrounding it, look, we're, we are all in this together, are we not? Or we should be. But truthfully, we, we are. What I do impacts you, what you do impacts me, and all the students and dancers and coaches and teachers and everybody who's affected, and we're all affected, okay? And if we just consider the magnitude of challenges that lie ahead, we should be working on these things together. So 19 months ago was the pebble in the pond, and now we're dealing with the concentric circles. And we're, it's not over. I feel like we're probably at something like the beginning of the end, hopefully, but we're definitely not at the end of the end. Right? There are more challenges ahead. And if you combine that with the fact that, let's just look at ABT, the company, and San Francisco Ballet. Both companies have lost their artistic director and their executive director. Right? So there's major leadership changes happening, and there's going to be a lot more of that if I'm, being, if I'm being honest. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that maybe they'll even merge. Not those two companies, but I think you might see a merging of companies in order to deal with the financial side of things. So there's, there's substantial challenges here. And this should, you know, we should be working together on these things. Leadership is needed. I'm in a position to relieve a lot of that pressure if the institutions want it, right? And another thing, I mean, just about the post itself, saying that what I'm doing is valid, and in the same sentence saying that it contradicts their, the method and the health guidelines it is to say that the health guidelines and that method is invalid. If I'm valid and it contradicts them, they're saying that their own curriculum is invalid. Look, so may, maybe we... <laughs> Us colliding is just not a great strategy for anybody. It's in the best interest of the most people in the ballet world that we work together. I'm just going to leave it like that, okay? Let's, I'm an email or a phone call away.